How important is it to have an excellent looking image for your gig? Whether it's Fiverr or Upwork or even your profile picture, we all know and we can all agree that if your picture doesn't stand out, ain't nobody gonna be clicking on it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly put together an awesome looking Fiverr gig image using the proportions and everything for your Fiverr gig using a free program called Canva and a uh, tool, I guess it would be called, called the Rule of Thirds. It's, I guess it's not a tool, it's a rule. And it's been used in photography and videography for ever and ever and ever and ever. And it certainly applies to your Fiverr gig image. And I'm going to show you what the third... <laughs> And I'm going to show you what the rule of thirds is and how you're going to use it to help draw in more business. Let's go. My name is Brian from Ridgeback Productions, and I help beginning voiceover talents grow their business and generate lots and lots of income. And one way that you can do that is by having a Fiverr gig image that really pops and really stands out. So let's jump into Canva, and I'm going to show you what you can do to make it look amazing using the rule of thirds. Here we go. All right, so we are looking at... Canva, this is the free version. I'm gonna, I mean, I actually have the pro version, but this is under the, the free version because I want to show you, you can do it all under the free version. Now, one thing that I'm going to be uh, showing you that Canva doesn't actually have, but it's just basically a grid. So I made a grid and I made it transparent. So basically there it is. Okay, so you can see all these red lines represent the rule of thirds. We're splitting the screen into one, two, three sections vertically, and one, two, three sections horizontally, right? So it makes nine boxes. This is called the rule of thirds. And what it, what the rule of thirds is, is artistically, pictures, video, films, everything, it looks better when you place things in areas of the thirds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and make this transparent. All right, so I made that transparent. Okay, so now that uh, it's a little more transparent and we can actually do some work. So the first thing I want you to do is you're going to grab an image of yourself with open eyes looking reasonably happy or smiling a picture that you like. And we're going to remove the background. Now, Canva Pro will allow you to do this. The free version doesn't, but that's okay. We're going to open up a new tab, and if you just type in remove.bg for background, all right, so this is remove.bg, and it's just a free online version that you can use. Uh, so if you upload an image, we're going to upload this image right here. This is me in my vocal booth. Boom. Okay, so... Removed background, perfect. Now you can download HD, but it requires you to create an account, or you can just download the, I guess this would be just good quality. It's fine, it works great. So download that, got it downloaded, jump back in to Canva, and you're going to upload it. And you can see I've already done that, but you would go right here, upload a file, find your new one, click on it, click open. I already have it. So I'm going to click on mine. So there I am. Okay. So what you want to do is drag this into a thirds area. Now I recommend putting it on the side, left side, right side, doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my, the picture up and I'm going to make it nice and big because you want your picture to stand out. And I'm going to put the eyes, my eyes right on this top line of thirds. Boom. Okay, so you can see if I make the line, the grid lines uh, brighter, you can see that my eyes are right on this top line. Now you can adjust this wherever you want, but keep the eyes on the top line of thirds. Cut off a shoulder, it's fine. It doesn't necessarily matter. I'm going to put it right there. Nice big picture of yourself. And that looks good. Perfect. Okay, now add a title. 
So we're gonna click on text, we're gonna click a heading, and this might be for my American male voiceover gig. We'll just do that, okay? So then, boom, boom. Now I'm gonna put that there. And obviously, I want it to be bigger. Big, 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 big. If it gets too big and goes out of the box, I want to keep it as one line. You can always make your um, box bigger. And I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to go like this. Now, for text, I don't want... See how get, that gets close to the eye? That's okay. I'm going to put it right there. In fact, I'm going to say that's a little bit too big. I don't want to go that big because I don't want it to look like it's sitting on my eye. I'm going to go ahead and take these grid lines and make them more transparent. You guys get the idea of what those lines look like. So we'll put them right there. You can see that we're still within it. Okay, so we're going to do American male. And I'm going to put that on the top. And then I'm going to add another heading, but I'm going to put voiceover. This one, just to make it look different, I'm going to change the font. This first font was Canva Sans. I'm going to change this one to, uh, what do I want to put it as? Look around my camera here. That's fine. I like that. Okay. Uh, make that bigger. I'm going to make that like 125. That's possibly a little too big, but that's okay. Okay, now you're going to, now, oops, I just moved my picture. If you make an error, you can always click on this little arrow right here. Uh, check this out. It's kind of cool that Canva does this. So now when I click on the box, I can click, and then I'm going to click and hold and drag. You can drag it around. Now you're going to see little things pop up right there. See those dotted lines that popped up? Look at the E in voice. See how the, that's telling me it's centered. If I go too far to the left, it's not centered under American male. If I go to the right, to, so I'm looking for those dots. And so they're almost like snap grids. Bam, it tells me it's right there, and I'm centered under American male, which is what I like. I'm going to probably put that a little bit under the horizontal line for the top third. Let's see how that looks. American male voiceover. That looks pretty popping. I'm liking that. Okay, so what then what you can do is... If you wanted to change the whole background, I actually have to move my grid lines for this because it's an overlay. To change the background color, it's easy. All you do is you just click anywhere in the dead white space, and you can see this little color box right here. And you can make it whatever color you want. I mean, I don't really like green, but if you want to do green, you can do green, you can do gray, you can... I think that... look. I mean, you can even do gradients... You can play to your heart's content. That's kind of cool looking. I don't know. They're all like, it's just fun to get. It's just fun to get on here and be creative. That's kind of neat. I kind of like that. What's this dark blue one? Mm, too dark. Let's go like that. I like that. That's that's fine. So we're going to go like that. If you didn't like that, you could, oh no, the pro version will let you um, play around with it some more. But that's okay. Free version. American male voiceover. That looks good. Um, I don't necessarily need this anymore, but the whole concept of this rule of thirds is your text box is going to be the two thirds and your pictures representing a third. That's a, that's a real good one. Um, what else can I do? I could put an element of, you can see my search results have already been here. So if I put like a flag, I can do, uh, I don't know, what flag do I like? You can see the pro version ones, that's not going to work for us because we're only using free versions. Uh, this one's cool. There you go. Just put the American flag. Bam. Because this is an American male voiceover. So there's those dotted lines. See how when it's centered under the text, it's, it's cutting into my shirt? That's fine. You can click on your image, 
And it's all positions. They're all like layers. Think of them as like just clear layers on top of each other. So if I want my picture to be the very front, I can go position, bring it to the front. And now if you notice, the flag is behind my shirt. Do I like it? I, it's not bad. I mean, I think if you're going to put it behind the shirt, then put it more behind the shirt because it's looking like it's not a, an error or a mistake or something like that. I think that looks good. And let me be honest with you, this is better than 90% of the new gig images that I see. You, the idea is, is you want to have nice, friendly picture of yourself where you can see your eyes. They say the windows, the eyes are the windows to the soul. You want those, you know, subtle smile or a big smile. You don't need a lot of text to be confusing. The whole idea of this is that it stands out. You want it to stand out so that when people are scrolling, they see something colorful and engaging that they want to click on. You don't, I mean, you can put clients that you've worked with. Fiverr won't let you put stars on it because they think that that represents you're trying to imply that you have a higher star rating than you really do. They're pretty specific. So what's the takeaway? Big takeaway, rule of thirds. Put your picture big in one third of the image. Put text in the other two-thirds of the image if you want to add something extra like a flag or a microphone or whatever. You can get as creative as you want. That is an option, okay? So you could, I mean, just for fun, what I, what is this going to look like? I don't know. Let's see. What if we did the entire thing was a flag? You know, your pictures don't stand out as much or uh, the text doesn't stand out as much. You could also click on text color and change it. That doesn't really stand out. But if you did like an effect on it, you could do the outline. The camera's kind of in my way here. Um, where is it? Right there. <laughs> I did duck. Uh, that doesn't look so bad. And you can do the same with that. You get as creative as you want. We'll uh, do the outline again. Change that to black. My camera wasn't in the way. You, I, you can adjust like this size. Get creative, have fun with it. Just make sure that it, you know, looks good. You can put it down here. I wouldn't have it tuck behind the picture like that. Have it go over your picture or find something else. I mean, you can, you can have fun with it. Just, you know, do your thing, but make it look good. So you got a lot of options. So gig image, colors, rule of third, big text that stands out. And Fiverr doesn't like a lot of text, so don't put it, it super text heavy. Just put the name of your gig. It's just something that, that people can click on and be like, hey, awesome. And they'll track you down. So cool. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, I'll be happy to get back to you, or you can follow any of the links in the description below. I do um, Fiverr gig reviews. I do one-on-one -on -one consultations to help you guys out. I'm, I'm here for you, and um, and I do it all the time. I, I work with so many talents, and, and I'd love to work with you too. If you're interested, give it a thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful. Helps the algorithm, so I pop up more in other people's feeds. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day and we'll catch you next time. See ya.